How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week five. Uh, we are sitting at number five in the country on a bye week. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and sim immediately through to week six. Uh, you know, we're not paying a whole lot of attention to recruiting this season. And nothing exciting happened during this bye. So we'll move in towards our matchup with UCLA. And coming into this week, we will have some interesting uh, recruiting because we have a ton of guys ready to visit or coming to visit. A couple more guys that maybe we could schedule. Uh, we don't move up in the rankings. UCLA drops down five spots, I imagine, sitting at two and two that they've lost. Uh, they're favored to win. I am just curious to see what happened. Let's see. They beat FCS. They lost to Washington, beat Stanford, lost Oregon. So the two good teams that they've played, they've lost to. And the two bad teams that they've played are mediocre teams. They've beaten, but barely. Three points against Stanford. And they just barely pulled out a squeer against the FCS team by two. Close games all around, though, for the most part. Oregon was pretty tough for them. We're sitting at 4-0, of course. Uh, and let's take a look at this. UCLA a B plus across the board. So I expect us to be able to take care of that pretty handily. I said that last game that we played against Oregon, though, and that was a struggle through and through. We are not favored to win this one. Lee Corso really enjoying uh, picking the Pac-12 teams to beat us. Statistically, we look better everywhere except for our total offense rush offense and pass defense which is not all that surprising to me and we are winning the turnover battle as it stands now again sitting at number five in the country let's take a look at our top 25 polls to see where it is that we stand and what's happening around us uh we have uh one of the two teams losing here texas oklahoma red river shootout that's nice penn state has to play a ranked game notre dame plays a ranked game we play a ranked game west virginia plays a ranked game so the top six all with a chance potentially to be upset. We know there will be at least one loss, so we can expect if we win, maybe to move up into that top four. Scrolling through, uh, Mizzou beat Georgia last week and has to play Arkansas this week. Uh, Georgia lost to Mizzou and now has to play a ranked Tennessee. UCLA is probably going to have uh, things go according to plan. Back-to-back -back losses. Anything else going crazy? Oregon again winning. Uh, Arkansas lost in overtime to Tamu last week. Clemson lost to Pitt and has to play Notre Dame. Uh, kind of interesting. Dropping out as Arizona State and Miami. And just in general, we're looking pretty solid. Where are we sitting in the media pool? Doesn't really matter a whole lot, but uh, curious to see. 4-0. No first place votes for us. But we don't need first place votes to win the uh, playoffs. All we have to do is win our conference and we'll be in, and then we're fine with that. We don't need the media on our side. Heisman watch. Marquise is up at the top. I don't know if that happened in the bio week, or I feel like I don't remember that being the case. So uh, the wide receiver all the way at the top, and Radon Randell has dropped out of the top five. A good game here, I imagine. It gets him back up into that. Uh, we do have a little bit of recruiting to do, and we're kind of in a weird spot where... We're just kind of fighting for a few guys, uh, trying to pull away with others. But we have two more guys ready for visits, and maybe we can send them to this UCLA game. Victor Gray, the wide receiver, for sure can come. And Jack Hand is also going to show up. So just really stacking as many recruits as we can. Uh, I'll give you just a quick little look at our biggest lead so far. We have decent players uh, that we're up with. Um... It's not incredible. I don't think it's nearly as good as last year, but uh, it's also not necessarily bad. Trying to get Joe Justice as a quarterback just to leave them with a decent QB uh, at the end of our tenure, and it looks like we are gaining on Florida there. So all in all, we're looking okay. Not going to be a world-beating class. Probably won't be the number one class in the country, but it's not bad either. So let's waste no further time getting into this game. 88 overall for UCLA. They've got a 90 offense and an 88 defense. That feels to me like it should be pretty easy for us to uh, get the win. You never know, though. Uh, we'll just go black pants for ourselves and for UCLA. Well, we'll just give them their kind of more standard looking away uniforms. The shoes are the only thing that's changed. So, you know, let's just keep them with their normal away. Get the uh, the jump band shoes more obvious, and we'll see if we can just uh, beat the Bruins for the second time in this dynasty. Actually, now that I say that, I'm not entirely certain if we beat them the first time around. We played them 
like the second game ever, maybe, maybe the third. It was definitely in the first season with Coastal Carolina. We went to the Rose Bowl. Um, so might be just the first time. Offensively, they've been moving the ball pretty well. They've been running the ball much better than us. Uh, we are pretty much worst in the nation when it comes to that. But again, we have Mike Fontaine back. So maybe if the offensive line can uh, just have a dominant performance, that can shoot up for us. And defensively, they seem terrible. One of the worst in the countries. Whereas if we just slow down the pass, we'll be okay. Tons of guys visiting. We'll try to go for the passing for 250 yards and running for 100. But uh, the win comes first no matter what. Our top players still good, not on hot streaks, but uh, that's fine. They'll get there after this game. Their top players, low 90s into the 80s overall with a left guard, a wide receiver, and a defensive tackle. And the injury report says, well, Mike Fontaine's still probable, uh, but they've got a right end that is also probable. So uh, likely to be two healthy teams here in this battle. So it is a beautiful uh, fall evening here at Brooks Stadium as we will get this underway. UCLA with the coin toss selecting heads. It's going to be heads, so they win it. And it looks like they will elect to kick the ball off a four mile an hour win today. And we'll go ahead and see Marquise Jackson back to return to open this one up. A returnable kick for our standards and a nice spin move a broken tackle a back juke spin oh my gosh doing everything he can to try to find space marquise gets us out across the 25. Well, you're not a great running team this season so it means we're going to open up the first drive with a run up the middle to mike fontaine and see what the offensive line has in store and we'll take that all day and on second down safeties are deep but the dbs are pressed up quite a bit We'll see if anybody can find some space. Uh, let's have Stewart run a little under. Crossing route and on second and six. Stepping back. Marquise is open. If we can get the timing right, he comes down with it. But he's short of the line to gain. Man, we threaded a little bit of a needle there. A lot of Bruins in the area, but able to get him to come down with it. That'll bring up a third and short. As again, we'll hand it off to the running back. Good block does just enough and we're able to move the chains and get another first down we'll see if we can look to the air again on this first down uh marquise is being pressed up on but malcolm is not on the other side and well we're not going to throw to either of them just continue to give it to our freshman running back and let him pick up the yards go ahead and run the ball again on second down Looks like there was a good chance for them to get the stop, but we cut it upfield at the perfect time, and Mike finds double-digit yards. So already 21 yards for the starter as his backup's going to come in for his first carry, and J.J. Barr gets four yards that time. Running game looking really solid so far. We'll see how well this works, but it'll be a play action on second and six. They're not bringing a whole lot of pressure. Why? Maybe open. It's a tough throw. Chad Bradshaw can't come down with it. My goodness. They had three guys, I think, get their hands on that one. It was just batted around. Definitely not the smartest pass. Uh, we're lucky to see it hit the turf. We're going to try to run the ball a little counter on this third and six. Uh, can we bring Purcell over? They don't shift all that much. Maybe giving us an extra blocker there. Mike up the middle doesn't have it. Fourth and three. I think we're going to go for this. I don't want to be kicking field goals, especially on the opening drive. So the offense will stay on the field this time out as we will look to the air. They are bringing pressure, so we're going to run for our lives. Why was open, but let's not risk it. It is fourth down after all. Let Radon rush for 11 on the scramble. And now we've got uh, a new set of downs as we're nearing the red zone on our first drive three minutes gone in this first quarter mike fontaine nowhere to go trying to find a little cheeky spin move but it's just going to be a loss of a yard that time we can't expect every run to go super well so we'll look to the air again uh second 11 let's have malcolm williams go on a 10 yard little curl timing route open enough to catch it and he's got a little bit of space slow to get moving but it's down to the five or six and just like that, it's first and goal. So again, going to go with the handoff. So safety's deep at the back of the end zone. Means a lot of space. And Mike Fontaine pushes one over. Showing some incredible strength from the power back. He's in for six, just like that. So the opening drive goes 12 plays for 69 yards. As 
We take a 7-0 lead and they take a touchback. And it'll be time to see what it is that our defense can do in this game. Uh, curious to see if we can just shut them down. They are the better team no matter what here. A toss out towards the edge. Don Riley can't get there. And wow, it's just broken tackles all over the place. Derek Burnett gets eight yards. Typically one of the better teams at stopping the run, but we give up a large chunk on that first play. And in motion on this one, looks like it's going to be another run. And there's another broken tackle. Oh my gosh, just like that. UCLA, he's not down yet. <laughs> oh, wow. UCLA, like every other team in this game, running in the hurry up at this point as they will step back to throw and... Oh my gosh, that's so frustrating. He just turned around and we ran right through him and he's wide open. Uh, nothing more frustrating than trying to 1v1 do some man coverage in this game for me. I will never do it right. Bring pressure, we stop him on the run that time. Well, can we slow him down a little bit more? Maybe force them to try to kick a field goal? Just as long as we keep him out of the end zone, that's what we're looking for. Is This one's a throw over the middle and it'll be third and one. All too easy that time. Really doesn't feel like we have anything going for us on defense right now. Maybe one or two stops here or there. But that's about it. Trying to expect the run. They are not going to run. There's a man wide open in the corner of the end zone. Emmanuel Brown is completely untouched as he goes 22 yards. And Rudy Carter, 3-3 three three to open up this drive. And UCLA ties it up at 7-all. All righty. Well, that was absolutely terrible. And I'm not happy with the way the defense played at all on that drive. And uh, hopefully Marquise doesn't take this back because I do not want to see the defense for like another five minutes here. <laughs> Actually kind of relieved that this kick return just got to the 17-yard line because it means the offense has a lot of room to work with as we'll hand the ball off on first down and with some great blocking, Mike can pick up eight yards on the ground. He's having a great first quarter so far. As maybe getting the ball again here. No, Mark or Radon keeping it on the option. Six yards, but he took a really big shot. No reason not to just continue to run the ball. We'll go with a counter here as we are nearing the end of the first quarter and Mike Fontaine just gets slaughtered in the backfield there. Nowhere for him to go. A loss of three. Well, that was a little bit annoying. Uh, end of the first quarter. Kind of happy for that? I don't know. I just I feel like the longer this game goes, the, uh, the worse it's going to end up for us. I just feel like we're going to get something unlucky happening. And UCLA is going to win it if this one lasts a long time. So we are already into the second quarter. And uh, two safeties is a little bit disappointing. We'll see if one of them can get caught out, though. On this play action, looking deep, nobody open. Going to have to scramble on second and a mile. Right on, luckily breaks the tackle. Oh, that would have been a big, big problem. But he breaks the tackle and gets out of bounds with the first down. Allow us to live to see another day as we will again hand this one off. Mike Fontaine just running past the blitz from the corner, but the linebacker with a big tackle as he was just behind him. For a second, I thought that Mike was just going to soar off into the distance on that one. Didn't seem like anybody was going to be able to make that tackle, but there it is. Throwing it here, there's Williams. Actually able to stay in bounds. Get a couple of yards after the catch. And we're starting to move. Right on four of five through the air for what I'm going to call a pretty measly 47 yards. We'll look deep, seeing if somebody can get open. Trying to throw it up, it doesn't get off in time. Marquise was going to be open back in the end zone, but the pressure gets to us and forces the incompletion. And on this second down, again, I'm just going to run the ball up the middle. Try to make it a more manageable third down as we're weaving through. And yeah, we'll take a third and six over a third and ten any day. Once again, we're kind of looking at the running back on this one as they're going to bring some pressure. So outside the pocket, Mike Fontaine is wide open. He catches it in stride. I don't think he has the speed being a power back, but he does have the power to hold that defender off. And just like that, Mike Fontaine is 37 yards downfield into the end zone. A little bit of stiff arm cheese for us. And we take the lead. And it'll be up to the defense once again to see if they can slow down these Bruins. This one's going to be a touchback, and uh, UCLA's got 75 yards to go to try and tie it up again. On this first down, we will bring some pressure. The linebacker blitz. This should work for a loss, and it does. Nowhere to go for Burnett as he loses two on first down. 
And we're going to be anticipating a pass now after the loss of yards. Second and 12, I would not be surprised to see uh, some sort of slant route or out route wide open or maybe a curl. And there it is, as always, on cue. We go from a second and long to a third and short. Seems to be all too often that that happens. Let's just hope we can get the pressure on these guys immediately. Not give them a chance. Logan Smith, good pressure, but the quarterback's got a man wide open on the slant route. It's Kale Mackey getting burned. And we'll hope that we do a little bit better than that on this one. Again, they step back looking to throw. Quarterback scrambling, and there's the sack. Loss of five, another second and long. I'm just really hoping they, they don't turn this into a third and short. It would be really painful if that does happen. Tight end goes in motion. They step back looking to throw, and over the middle, it's me getting burned. A little bit too late to react, and well, third and short, what's worse, that or a first down? Absolutely zero defense today. This one could turn into a high-scoring affair pretty quick. Uh, another first down stop for a loss. No consequences yet for UCLA, though. That would be completely fine. Just uh, holding these guys to a field goal attempt, but that seems easier said than done at this point. Looks like it's going to be an option out towards the edge, and okay. We get them in a third and ten. This is our chance to get off the field. Unfortunately, the defense hasn't been great about that so far this season. They will step back, looking to throw. Quarterback all the time in the world. Pressure coming. He throws off balance and finds a man open inside the red zone. And they get another first down on this drive. Rudy Carter, perfect passing the ball so far today. All we need is one incompletion at this point. It seems to get them off the field, but it hasn't happened yet. It just isn't coming. And it still doesn't, even though, again, they lose yards on a first down. So for sure in scoring range now. We'll see what this second and 11 brings. Wide receiver coming in motion. It is going to be a little jet sweep. Aaron Jenkins with the great tackle, though. And again, we've gotten him in a third and long. And another chance to get off the field. Unfortunately, we all know the defense has been pretty bad with that so far. They step back looking to throw. Coverage is okay. And we're going to get bailed out by just a bad play from the CPU. They had the man open, but he catches it and falls out of bounds on the sideline. A couple yards short, so fourth and three. We technically held them. Uh, kick is up, and it's good. 14-10 with a minute and 30 before the half. All our timeouts, a chance to extend the lead. Uh, but UCLA gets the ball to start the third. So hopefully we can just uh, burn the clock on this drive. I don't think we need them or want them to have the ball again in this half. Also means we need good ball security and oh, looked like it was going to be a chance for a good return, but we just get to the 20. So we've been passing the ball a decent amount in this game. We're going to continue that pressure coming. Oh, no. We found Williams. I thought that was a pick for sure. Was able to use him into position. The clock is moving, though. It's a good play from the safety. Uh, I think Marquise was going to be wide open. And now we're going to see if we can find him deep. Or if I can throw a pick, Lamb over the top comes down with it. I don't know how we found Bo there, but he gets 31 yards for us. It seemed like the coverage was going to be perfect on that one, but we just managed to barely fit it over the top. And we'll get an opportunity co to continue to throw on these guys. Pressure coming. I didn't mean to throw that one, and I'm lucky that it's not intercepted. Still all three timeouts and 58 seconds left. We're going to run it on second down. See if we can catch him a little bit off guard. And Mike Fontaine does just that. And he gets a first down to stop the clock. So the running works really well there. We'll try a, a play action. We don't catch them off guard at all. And Radon can't get rid of it in time. And we get sacked for a loss of 10. Completely wasted the last play. It's now second and 20. And uh, we're just going to start throwing up bombs and hoping that somebody can get open. That somebody this time maybe being Williams, and he can't hold on to it through the contact. So it's now third and a mile. Well, don't expect to see uh, first down on this one. We'll try to do whatever we can. It's probably going to be picked off, and no, uh, we're just going to see another deflection. Fourth and 20. Well, fourth and 20, I'm not in a good mood because of the way that this team has played, so we're going to throw up another one. And see if anything can happen. Uh, because I doubt it. But we'll hope for the best anyways. Deep downfield, throwing up a 50-50. And Malcolm Williams is left wide open. That looked like me trying to cover somebody. This game is 
you're ridiculous sometimes. I have no idea as to why he turned around, but he did, and he was wide open and outside the pocket, scrambling, and they do nothing to cover it off. So Radon gets an all-too-easy seven yards and a seven points as well as we extend the lead now to 11. I've run out of craps to give, so we're going to go for it. Look for two on this one on the point after. See if we can extend the lead even more. As, is anybody open? B, maybe? Oh, what the heck just happened there? It was an incomplete pass. Oh my gosh, Mike Fontaine ran into him. <laughs> well, we could be up 11. Could have been up 12. Instead, we're up 10. Uh, always sucks when your running back runs into your quarterback as he's trying to throw the ball, but that's on me. If I'm UCLA here, I'm going for this, although... First and 10, it seems like they want to run the ball. It, it is a handoff, and they're going to take a timeout. <laughs> it's too predictable, man. Doesn't matter what play that I call. If they come out with the intention of burning the clock at the end of the half, they're going to get a massive run, and then they're going to take a timeout and start to pass the ball. It, it literally, it's like, uh, it's it feels scripted. Eight seconds left in the half. Rudy Carter's a perfect 10 of 10 through the air. I'm expecting to just see a bomb downfield, but they go short and take a timeout. Four seconds left. And they just gifted us an opportunity to score points. I don't think this kicker has this kind of leg. Second and seven. It is not returnable, but he did miss it. Oh. He was a couple yards from, uh, from seeing Marquise taking his kick to the house, maybe. But at the end of the first half... 20 to 10, we've got the lead. We've got to give them the ball, but even if they score on their first drive, we'll still have the lead, so feeling okay. Defense has been bad. Just kind of feels typical that our defense underperforms in games like this. Offense has made some mistakes, but has also done okay and has done enough to be in control of this game. Uh, we get it, just got to finish it out. I don't know if I can expect the defense to improve, but they're doing enough as it stands that uh, we might just be able to get to the end in the lead. As Frederick kicks this one off, I'd like to ask you guys, uh, if you're enjoying the video, please, to hit like. Uh, statistically, when I ask you, we do get higher likes, so it works. And it also is a free way to help the channel. Uh, the more likes, the more people see the video, so if that's something you're into, think about it. First down! Trying to use her a defensive lineman, because my user everywhere else has been bad today. And the quarterback is now 12 and 12 through the air. So they continue to move all too easily passing the ball. This is going to be a draw, and that's going to work for much too many yards. That was a sentence. Uh, five yards that time. How about the blitz on second and five? Seeing if we can get Will Phillips in. We don't need to. No, oh my gosh, he got a lucky little push forward and got two yards when we met him at the line of scrimmage. Just like that, we went from a third and five to a third and three. I'm going to expect the pass, but I'm still bringing the rush as... No, it's a blitz or a, a option out towards the edge. The blitz did nothing, and they get 14 and convert another third down. Overall, we might have one of the best defenses in the country, but our third down defense has to be among the worst. We just cannot stop teams in third down situations. Every other down, we do okay, but not that one. Just lacking a little bit in the clutch factor. This one, another run out towards the edge, and the blocking is impeccable. So once again, a second and long turns into a third and one. This defense is going to make me start to bald. Like, it's so frustrating. Every single drive, they end up converting those. It's crazy. We finally get the stop. And that's just because they call a, a low percentage play there. Typically, the CPU isn't very successful with those options. So we'll hold them to another pretty long field goal attempt as I expect him to have the distance on this one. But whether or not he has the accuracy is another question, and now he pushes it right. This kicker bailing us out a little bit here. So the defense manages to hold, even though they gave up a lot of yards, and now it's the offense's chance to pick up a bunch of Mike Fontaine. Getting some beautiful blocking on the edge from the wide receiver. It's 25 yards on first down. 
It's a shame that we need to get a bunch of passing yards for recruiting because I just don't know if that's going to necessarily happen. We'll look to the air. Safety shying towards Marquise, and that's going to leave the middle wide open for Radon to scramble for another 20 or so. All too easy. We'll certainly break the 100 yards rushing, no problem. Uh, so I just kind of have to start forcing some passes. Hopefully it doesn't force me to make mistakes. Looking out, A might be open. Stewart comes down with it inside the 10. Sean's been pretty open recently. I'm glad that we're able to find him that time as, uh, well, one of their players, Burnett, the running back, is out for the game. So that'll help us tremendously. Radon keeping it on the option into the end zone. And just like that, we've extended the lead. I'm going to go for two again. Why not? Got to see if something will work. On the point after, waiting. Oh, this is probably picked off. <gasps> Ooh, that could have been points for UCLA. If this dude had good hands, he intercepts that, and there's nobody that was going to be able to stop him. Well, we got lucky there. Simple as that. See what we can do with the kickoff, putting it out towards the edge intentionally. They are going to return it. Can we get a good stop? We can. We'll keep them at the 20. That little risk pays off, and the defense another chance to open this up for us. 219 yards allowed so far. Can we continue to keep them out of the end zone as much as possible? Or can we force them maybe to miss another field goal? Looks like it's going to be a play action on first down. Quarterback, all the time in the world, he's going to scramble, and I accidentally just... Oh, my gosh. What's happening here? Oh, so frustrating. I switched and then hit the thumbstick on accident, so Kale Mackey just, like, flopped onto the ground 10 yards away from the quarterback. Gives him a perfect lane to go for the scramble, and he picks up a ton of yards. Good block there on Smith, and now this run's going to go for another 23. Oh, my goodness. One day we'll get a stop easily. Not coming easily this time. Will Phillips can't get anything. The blocking is good, and UCLA's into the end zone. That was embarrassing. Completely, completely embarrassing for the defense and for my user as well. All right. Well, our defense is not going to be the side that wins it for us today. It's going to be the offense, maybe the special teams, but certainly not the defense. On the return, well, we're <laughs> trying to do a little bit too much, and we've got a long ways to go before we find the end zone again. 250 left in the third quarter at the start of this drive. We're going with the option right on Going to keep it, try to make some guys miss, and that's not going to work for anything. Uh, this could be a touchdown. We'll see what the coverage does on Malcolm and Marquise. Looking deep. Throwing it up for Marquise. Man's keeping with him. Wow. Brian Nichols with great defense there. So third and nines here. Going to look to the air again. Outside the pocket. Is anybody open? This is a real big risk. Just throwing it up. Malcolm Williams is going to come down with it. Oh, it's Jonathan Williams, actually. Really, really confusing having two guys named Williams as wide receivers on your team. But just threw that one up with a prayer, and he came down with it. Drive is staying alive so far. Looking again towards the sky, and a tough throw here. Bo Lamb comes down with that one. I don't know where Bo has come from, but he's quietly having a pretty nice game. Almost uh, at our 250 passing yard mark. We're going to continue to throw the ball. Looking for touchdowns that way. Wide open. Chad Bradshaw completely unguarded in the corner of the end zone. And there it is. 12 of 18 for 253 and a couple of touchdowns for Radon. And we get our lead back. Time's running out for UCLA here. <laughs> It really hasn't worked at all so far this game, but why not? Outside the pocket. Uh, we'll give it to Mike Fonte. If they're not going to cover him, we can give him the little pitch and catch. Gives us a couple more points. And now up 17. We will <laughs> kick it to these guys. They've only scored 17 points to this point, so I think that we're looking okay. Kind of near that point where if we get the ball back, we might just start to burn the clock. I'm going to use our defensive end here. See what we can do with Wilson. As this one's going to be a run towards the... Oh my gosh, he was right there and I missed him. My bad user has absolutely haunted us. Another broken tackle for this man. Pat Murphy goes 31 yards. Four carries for 89 yards for the backup running back of UCLA. 
is embarrassing. <laughs> Much like a lot of the other parts of our defense so far today. A missed chance at a sack there. Will Phillips can't get there. Another miss. Another one. Oh my god. I'm going to break my controller if we keep playing like this. I got no explanations as to why I just seemingly can't use the controller when we get near the ball carrier of this game so far. Great blocking again. Thankfully, isn't more than 20 yards. And UCLA continues to go in this hurry up and just fly downfield at us. Tight end goes in motion as I'm kind of expecting a pass, but the way they've been running it, it wouldn't surprise me if it's a draw. And right over the middle, an easy first down. We can't cover the pass. We can't stop the run. This quarterback is 13 of 13 through the air. This one's going to be a run. And finally, we do something to get there in time. All right, something's got to give here. Somebody's got to be open. This one has to... <laughs> How do we not pick that off? First incompletion, and it was a weird one. All right, can we stop him on third and 12? Likely no, but I got to try. This one over the middle. Okay, we baited it into the shorter route. And that'll be enough for us to get the stop. I got to imagine UCLA goes for this. But instead, it's the field goal formation coming out as the third quarter comes to a close. Maybe they changed their mind as we head into the fourth. We're up 17. They don't have a lot of room to work with. If they kick a field goal and give us the ball, we can just start burning the clock and there's nothing they can do. So with back-to-back uh, -back losses looming, UCLA will decide indeed to just go for it, and it works out. Leon Sandcastle gets burned. I really wish that they would have gone for that. Uh, 34 to 24, even though the scoreboard's a little bit glitched out right now. Marquise with a returnable ball. It's not the best that we've ever seen from him, but he got across the 25 and burned a few seconds off the clock. Well, uh, we are going to start burning clock. 5.50 left in the game. I don't want these guys to have any chances, so we'll see how good the running game will be. And we'll see how committed to getting the stops on the run they'll be. We're going play action on this one. Marquise Jackson potentially with a, a chance to go deeper. Oh, I threw that one late. Malcolm Williams held on to that one through the contact from two different defenders. That was pretty spectacular. How about this? Read option. Radon's going to keep it. Some blocking. But, man, their safeties are really doing a good job of stopping him when he's keeping it on those options. Looking at the bubble here, but I don't like it. Quickly audible out if we have enough time. I don't want the delay a game. Looking for the slant routes over the middle. There's Malcolm Williams, I think. Yeah, okay. I never know which one I'm throwing to. <laughs> that was his fifth catch of the game, and he's now over 100 yards receiving. Is We're going to go to the uh, direct snap again. Just snap it straight to Mike Fontaine and see what he can do. Worked decent last time. Worked decent this time as well. Got to imagine pretty soon here UCLA is going to start taking their timeouts because we are flying through the clock so far on this drive. Fontaine, another great carry. will temporarily stop it, but he's now 11 yards shy of 100 on the day. And it'll be his backup, J.J. Barr, that'll come in when we run this counter. Blocking good, we get upfield, and J.J. looking beautiful, gets 10 or 11 yards himself. Running is just absolutely spectacular now. Two minutes left in the game. We'll hand this one off again up the middle. Mike Fontaine looking for the 100-yard day, and he's not quite there. Too shy as UCLA finally takes their first time out as we move inside the 10. And we got no reason not to just continue to run the ball up the middle. Mike Fontaine, second and one, has a first and goal. And a little bit more. Second timeout taken for the Bruins. And then I actually took a timeout because I didn't like the play that I called. Instead, we're just going to go QB sneak, give it to Radon, let him jump over the line, and maybe pad his stats a little bit more. Got to give him touchdowns. And we're now 41-24. Uh, actually, could just be 40-24. We're going to go for it again. This time, a run up the middle. Typically, we pass. Are they expecting that? That doesn't matter. Offensive line create a big hole. We get a couple extra points there. We've kind of reached a net zero now with our two-point conversions. We've been successful on two and we've failed on two, so it's all a wash at this point. Just a minute and 50 and one timeout for the Bruins to work with. Got to expect that they're going to be passing quite a bit here. 
They look like, yeah, they step back to throw on first down, and that's a little bit of a shame. They got the first down. That'll stop the clock for them. We were right there. We just couldn't uh, tackle them in time. And so it allows them to stop the clock and run the hurry up. Another man open. Gets three yards and steps out of bounds again, stopping the clock. It's going to be one of those frustrating drives where we know it's coming, but will we be able to stop it? Second and seven, looking to throw over the middle. Finally, we get the tackle inbounds and short of the line. So the clock is moving on third down. Five wide still for this quarterback, and there's another man open at midfield. This quarterback is padding his stats. 19 of 20 passing so far in this game, throwing it a 95% clip is pretty impressive. They will look to throw another completion for him. Now 20 of 21 as the clock moves. Seems all futile to me, and that won't help them. Their second false start for this offensive line. Second and nine for us. And while it feels like we're going to get the win, uh, after this play, scroll down real quick, hit the subscribe button, and then scroll up. Uh, if you don't, they're going to get a first down on this one. Mm, you must have subscribed because they didn't get the first down there. Uh, another completion, though, for this quarterback. On third and one, we know it's four down territory for him. Can we slow him down? No. Spencer Stanley gets the tackle immediately, but his man holds on to it. They convert the first down. I, I don't see why they're still trying so hard to go for this. They are down three scores at this point. Almost zero chance of coming back in this game. Although this could be a touchdown. Durham Finch, good tackle from the defensive end. Completely out of position. No reason for him to have been able to get there in time. That absolutely boggles my mind how quick he is. This one a throw. It's another catch and another man out of bounds. This is just getting absurd. 24 of 25 through the air now. <laughs> Second and goal. Will they run the ball? Or will we just see another pass? Probably for a touchdown since our coverage is so bad. Quarterback throwing it. Two guys wide open. Unfortunately, they didn't battle each other. And Emmanuel Brown gets his third receiving touchdown of the game. As UCLA does score. And they're going to come out looking to go for two here. We'll just be in the goal line. Man, see if we can get pressure. And nope. They find, of course, Emmanuel Brown. 32-42. 32 seconds. And it's a 10-point game. I guess technically there's a chance if they recover this onside kick, but Warren has it. And he's going to burn a couple of seconds off the clock, and that's that's got to be it, right? We will come out in the victory formation, and the question is going to be, will UCLA take this final timeout? And they will. Well, you already know what that means. If you're going to play like that, UCLA, be prepared to have a bomb touchdown scored on you. Because we don't enjoy people... Oh, no. <laughs> I almost threw a pick. We don't enjoy people disrespecting us. But here I am making it all too easy for him. 25 seconds. We're just going to continue to try and pick on him. No guarantee that it works. Right on. Getting a couple of yards. Getting out of bounds. Stopping the clock. I'm scoring a touchdown here if I can. I refuse to let them treat us like this. Safety went the wrong way. Marquise with the one-on-one. -on -one looking for him in the end zone. Can he keep a foot in bounds? No, it was thrown over his head and out of bounds. That was a poor ball placement from Radon on that one. Uh, all right, let's throw in a run here just to mix things up. Radon keeping it, making a man miss. And guess what? We're taking a timeout. No, he doesn't go down. Radon Riddell stands back up, and he's going to go into the end zone. What on earth? 40-yard touchdown for the quarterback. Maybe another Heisman moment. Three seconds left on the clock. UCLA had him dead to rights on the tackle, but he just never hit the ground. Oh, no. I've been waiting for that to finally happen to me for years in this game. And for it to happen on a play that doesn't matter at the end of the game... Honestly, kind of hurts a little bit. Let's have him just scramble in for the two-point conversion. Rub a little salt on the wound there. And to top it all off, let's keep our disrespect going. Is an onside kick possible? That was a decent attempt. Oh, good field, though, from UCLA. And they'll have a chance maybe to throw one up for a touchdown at the end of the game here. <laughs> I cannot believe that we just scored one of those. Oh, man. By the way, Michael Dyer was down. Uh, oh, 
I'm throwing. We just gave up a couple of extra rushing yards, making our defense look a little bit worse, but that's going to be the end of it. Uh, what a what a weird game. <laughs> Marquise Jackson, supposedly not all that useful. The rest of the team did pretty good. A lot of touchdowns. Radon looking real solid at the end there. He's got to be our player of the game. 14 to 22 for 284. Ran for 100. Six total touchdowns. And, uh, well, we beat our fourth, I think, ranked team in a row. UCLA loses their second in a row. And I got to imagine we jump up at least one spot into the top four after that game. What an absolute crazy end to that game. <laughs> we end up winning it 50 to 32. Uh, we outrush them. We outpass them somehow. Uh, kind of miraculous on both fronts, even though we gave up way too many yards. Uh, their player of the game is obviously their quarterback going 25 at 26 is pretty impressive. Radon is obviously ours. Not as good passing the ball, but much better running the ball. And he put up better numbers, more touchdowns, and he actually won the game. So that game allows us to level up. And we will expect to get uh, probably at least one rank out of this. So we'll go ahead and put our final level here. Uh, we'll go letter of intent. Uh, unlocking the insta commit so we want to level up as quick as possible although i haven't fully decided on whether or not we'll allow ourselves to use the insta commit skill because it feels like it can be a little bit cheeky sometimes but also if we get to that point and we move to a new school that's bad it could help us turn it around way way quicker but let's go ahead and sim towards our next week. We have to play another ranked game. Is that is this, was this our third game and the Georgia's our fourth? My goodness, ranked games all the way through this season. We'll see though if we're a top four team for it. And ooh, we get a couple of commits. The 79 overall corner and the 79 overall center both committing to the team. We probably had some good visits. I mean, Joe Justice, we got a thousand points. A couple other guys ready to visit the, this center. 1150 points, that's crazy. So good visits there. Decent amount of XP. We have, wow, we jump up to number two in the country. Georgia lost, it seems like, because they've dropped down in the rankings. Uh, they lost to a now top 10 Tennessee, but we jump up. So we know that at least one of the teams around us in Oklahoma lost. I imagine that puts Texas on the top spot. We are second. Oklahoma lost. Penn State lost to Wisconsin. And Notre Dame uh, lost to Clemson. So... One, three, and four all falling last week. That's good news for us. Michigan lost. Missouri lost. Kansas lost. Ohio State lost. UCLA, Georgia all losing. Illinois drops out. But we move up three spots to that number two spot. And the rest of the top five now is West Virginia, Auburn, and still Oklahoma. So pretty crazy there. After that game, Marquise Jackson has completely disappeared from the Heisman. Watching Radon Randell replaces him at the top. So the thing's all over the pl place uh, this season. A lot of running backs. James Todd and Marcus Ward in the quarterbacks from Miami and Arkansas. Finding their way up there. Is this quarterback a freshman? He's a redshirt sophomore at 75 overall. I wouldn't expect him to see him up there uh, at the end, but you never know. Players of the week, I imagine. Is Radon up there? He is the offensive player of the week. So I think that's now twice this season that we have had a player be offensive player of the week, which is pretty rare for us and something I'm definitely, definitely happy with. Unfortunately, though, that's going to have to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed this one, please feel free to like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, both free to do and at the end of the day if you subscribe and you know say a week down the line or two years maybe uh, you stop enjoying the content well it's also free to unsubscribe but if you hit it right now that'd be pretty awesome while you're down there doing that please head to the description where you can find links to my twitch uh, at twitch.tv slash goonmaster as well as links to my twitter our community discord and as always the college football revamped mod if you're trying to get it for yourself all that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.